Namaste to all. I have made a video on this topic several months back, but I thought it is very essential for us again to catch up with that uh, topic. The question is, what is Kriya Yoga? Many modern saints they speak different dimensions of Kriya Yoga. What is the true definition? My Acharya Ji, Swami Ram Sarup Ji Yoga Charya beautifully answers. Yoga Shastra Sutra 2 by 1 states, Tapah Swadhyaya Ishwar Pranidana Ni Kriya Yoga Ha. The meaning of the sutra is Vedas, Shastras and other holy granth accepts Tapasya which is called as austerity, Swadhyaya, study of Vedas and Ishwar Pranidhan, faith in Almighty God as the basis to realize Almighty God. Without the above stated three ways that is Tapasya, Swadhyaya and Ishwar Pranidhanani, a person's inner self called as Anthekaran which is made up of mind, intellect and ego can never be purified. If the person's Anthaya current remains impure, then he cannot accomplish yoga. Mahabharat Ashwaparva 1 by 20 states, Yajnena tapasa chaiva dhanena cha naradhipaha puyante narashar dhula naradushkritam karinnaha. The meaning is like this, even sinful person becomes pure by doing yajnen and dan dan means donation and through austerity which is tapasya tapasya includes tolerating coldness heat physical and mental sufferings in the worship of almighty god to listen vedas to offer ahutis in yajna ragnihotra spreading the truth controlling one's senses and perceptions Swadhyaya includes to do name job of god's name by method described in the vedas to study Vedas and true holy grants which guide us towards realization of Almighty God written by Rishi Munis. Ishwar Pranidhan means to have full faith in Almighty God and to surrender all the deeds and the result to Almighty God. So if the present Gurus preach about Vedas, Yajna, Ashtanga Yoga philosophy, Name Jap etc. then it is true Kriya Yoga. Otherwise, beware of false prophets and saints. I hope the answer is extremely clear and you understood. Thank you so much. Namaste. Om.